I spend a lot of time in Excel creating BD rate computations and rate distortion curves. And I recently found a tip regarding title creation in charts that saved me a bunch of time. And that's what I want to share here. Specifically, I found a way to allow search and replace to update the titles in charts, which typically isn't how it works. So this is from a recent project, and this involved 11 clips. So how I typically work is I create one template for the first clip, and then I duplicate the template and then copy and paste the data into uh, the data areas of each template. And in this particular project, it was 11 clips, three codecs, and I tested at 1080p, 720p, and 480p using VMAF, SSIM, and PSNR, which meant nine charts per clip or 99 for the entire project. And I could manually change the titles from clip one to clip two if I wanted to, but that's time consuming and error prone. Now, if you create titles, you know, I've been using Excel for longer than 30 years, and I've always created my titles by typing in here the desired title. But if you do that, and then you run search and replace, if we go from clip one to clip two, we replace all, and we see we made three replacements here. So we've changed these, but we haven't changed the clip title. On the other hand, if you do it another way, and you run search and replace, clip one, clip two, replace all, we made 12 replacements, and we updated the titles to the charts. How did we do that? We did that by linking the title to a cell, and when the cell updates, the title updates. So how do we link a title to a cell? We select some data, insert chart, and we'll insert this chart. Now typically, I would come in here and I would customize this for clip one. But again, that won't copy and replace. The way you link it to a cell is you type the cell, clip, change it a little bit, you click the title, you enter the equal sign, and then you select the cell and press enter. And that's how the title is created. And if you want to update the title for any kind of formatting, you can as normal. doesn't matter if it's created directly in this title field or, or created here. You would update the formatting as usual right here. In this project, I probably saved you know 10 to 15 minutes of time, but I also eliminated a lot of frustration and a lot of potential errors. So from now on, when I'm working in Excel, I'm going to create my titles by linking to a cell as opposed to directly in the chart.